And the cool thing about all this is we're going to leave them with no mass and no power. <laughs> Suckers! All right. Goodbye, Bravo. <laughs> we completely drained them dry. And we made a total of five tanks and some scuba gear, all on their power and mass. Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to do stuff. <laughs> uh, we're going to do uh, an upgrade probably on our um, thing here. And what else are we going to do? Oh, uh, just stuff. Yeah, this, this might be a bit of a smorgasbord episode. We'll see how things go. Anyway, I've started deliberately burning meat just because I get so much of it now. And, you know, I have no room for it in here. Uh, we do have, I did make two steak and eggs with the eggs that we had. So let's eat this now. Um, and that should really shoot us up here. Uh, we are now at 86 wellness, which is fan friggin' tastic. And now that we uh, freed up a slot there, I'm going to put these two livers in that spot right there. Uh, and we're going to let those steaks burn. Okay, let's make ourselves a tomato soup. So we need two of those and two of those. And one of these. And that'll get our carbs going. Okay, delicious. Delicious, delicious. All right, now, um, so, yeah, what I want to do is I'm going to take all of this stuff. This is all mass stuff. I think I might do, well, hmm, nah, we'll save those. I'll plant these medicinal seeds, like, maybe in the winter time, if I don't have any other seeds uh, to do. I'm going to split this in half. How much do we need for a heat pack? I only need four of those. Um... Four times ten. Yeah, I, I, I think I better hang on to those. Uh, we can make eleven right now with what we have. Oh, let's turn the light on so you guys can see. I don't I don't usually have the light on when I'm just in here by myself because, you know, I can see well enough. And I'm tr always trying to conserve power. Uh, let's grab some of this. And you're burned. We're still waiting for those guys to burn. And our soup is almost done. Okay. So, um, I always let this build up to 100, you know, because that's basically free mass. And then after that, uh, we start feeding stuff in there. So we get 45 for a stack of, of burned steak. Um, so that shoots that up to 155, which isn't too bad. All right. And then all of you guys are now burned. So let's put you in here. Okay, that sucks our power down a little bit. We need to boost our generator. I could... Oh, I guess I already grabbed that. I could make another genie. Thought about it, maybe. Just to double our power. What What does it cost to make a generator? Something we do in here, right? Um, Not much, really. Yeah, why don't we do it? Why don't we do it? Let's make ourselves a generator. Another... A second generator so we can double our power production. We have lots of biofuel, so we should be able to keep both of them running pretty much full time at this point. All right, now the other, next thing I want to do is I want to upgrade this to an additional slot. So we're going to need iron, copper, scrap, and these guys. So iron and copper, okay. Oh, and we need 500 power, so we're going to have to wait for our power to build back up, which we should be able to do quickly now that we have two Jennies. So can I just put this other one here? There we go. Now we got double the power generation going. Um, plus, oh, it's windy as hell outside. Let's go see how much our windmills are generating in this windstorm here. We need to check our crops, too. Come on. Get up there. There you go. So, yeah, this thing's point, uh, putting out 0 .08, which is pretty good. 18.5-mile-hour uh, winds. And, you know, we could upgrade these, too, to do another 50%, which we, you know, we'll probably do at some point. Okay. Uh, we've got potatoes and tomatoes. 
here. Carrots. Um, you know what? Let's turn this on, if for no other reason, so we can all see what the hell's going on here. Uh, alright, so let's see. What's up? What's left in here? We got more tomatoes and potatoes. Before we make more seeds, let's go back down and see what we have for seeds. At the moment, man, it is cold. We have to start thinking about putting our winter coat on. Yeah, see, I've got a bunch of cotton seeds. I want to get those planted. Um... Because cotton is very rare. Whoops. Hop up here. Bunny hop there. Crouch and come up here. Yeah, let's just load this thing up with cotton. And then um, let's make one... There's no room in there, right? Yeah, let's make one tomato seed. Right? Yeah. Wait, where's our onions? Oh, we got all our onions in here, right. For liver and onions, right. Okay. So let's extract one seed from there, and uh, we're good to go on that. Uh, it's getting water. <coughs> Squeeze me. Uh, <laughs> getting water from the rain, uh, but we should uh, throw some fertilizer in here too. So let's do that. Goodness gracious. All right, so let's grab this, and um, we're going to put the potatoes and all of that stuff in there. Um, did we? Oh, yeah, we did make a tomato soup. Let's eat that. Look at that, man, shooting us up there. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Um, okay. So, for the frying, liver and onions, yeah, we just have to wait for onions. We only have one onion there. Uh, we never have gotten honey. I do have an insect repellent. We should maybe try that at some point. We might have to wait now. Though, oh, shit. We need to get a couple of these in there quick. There we go. Perfect. The best time to do that is right before it's, you know, it runs out. We we got to go do some fish, and I have no fish oil, and more specifically, more no more medicinal tonics. Okay, um, let's install this. Cool. So that gives us our second um, thingy thingamadoodle there. We might do the third at some point too. Uh, right now, I'm. Um, I want you to work on copper. And we better go back to iron for here. Put that there. So that uses, wow, that uses one power. So we are going to have to keep an eye on that. We still have a lot more coming in than that's going out. So, um, okay. So let's see, where are we at? We are putting these back in here. And these back in here, and the boards back in there. And we were going to go fertilize the gardens. That's what we were going to do. It's getting a little tight walking through there. Oh, come on. Jump and crouch. What a pain in the ass, man. <laughs> it is what it is, though. Okay, so the rain did a pretty decent job of watering that stuff. Uh, okay. I did end up putting those extra walls on the side of our barricade over that way, uh, too. So those are now in place. Cool. Okay, so we got that upgraded. And um, let's put this back in here. Uh, okay, so what are we doing? There isn't really any protein stuff I can make right at the moment uh, because I'm waiting on the onions. So we're probably just going to have to uh, just eat meat straight up. So let's have a couple of those to get our protein back up. We need to drink something. And let's top off you guys. Keep that power going. Uh, I'm going to turn this light off, <coughs> and then we'll stick the, the biofuel back in there. So I've had pretty good luck uh, with, with ammo crates, so I have actually feel like I have a little bit of extra ammo now, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, I still want to make some ammo casings, though, at some point. Um, so, you know, that is on the to-do list. One thing I was thinking we might do is, you know, there's this... Uh, diving station. It's pretty expensive, man. Five freaking circuit boards. Holy shit. But 
Bravo has a diving station. Um, so I'm thinking maybe what we do is let's go attack them today. Um, and let's go see, let's see if we can use their diving station to make our diving equipment. This is what I'm trying to get at here. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab some of our gunpowder and we're going to make two grenades just so we can get in there and get out real easy. Uh, so we need some of this and some of this and because, you know, two grenades takes the door down quite a ways. Ah, oh, shit, we have to wait for some more mass. Damn it. Damn it, Jim. How close are we? Ah, super close. Let's just turn this on until we get to 50. It shouldn't, should only take a few moments. Uh, all right. So let's see. We grab that. You're not doing any more fat, right? Oh, you are. Okay. So we'll grab the, excuse me, the fat out of there, put that in there. And, um, yeah. So we'll just wait for the mass to get up to 50. And it should be there when we get over to here. All right. Turn that sucker off. And now what we want to do is craft. Oh, we wanted to make two of those, didn't we? Ah, shit. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yeah, we can only make one. Wait, do I have one already? No, I got a couple of claymores. I don't have another thing. Well, I suppose we could just hit them with one grenade and then use a couple picks. I mean, it's not that big a deal. It just takes more time. Doesn't affect you guys at all because I cut that out anyway. <clears throat> so yeah, let's just do it that way. Because, you know, I, I don't want to be doing that late in the day. Now the other thing we might consider is to upgrade our bow further. We need all of, oh shit, six ropes? Wow, that's expensive. Eh, I, I, I don't think we're going to do that right now. Let's, let's just go over, see what it takes to make scuba gear. And maybe, you know, what we'll do is we'll take some, say, some zinc over there and use their power and stuff to, to process that. All right, I'm going to grab my Maganum here. And uh, let's go over and kick the shit out of those guys. Uh, nope, we're in pretty good shape nutrition-wise. I think we're good to go. Let's top these guys off. I have tried to get a little bit of wood, but I just get sidetracked with so many other things that I don't, uh, I haven't gotten like a bunch of it yet. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go attack Bravo. And then we're gonna see what we need to make the scuba gear using their equipment and their mass and power. I mean, that's the idea. Whether or not we can actually do that or how practical it's going to be remains to be seen. All right, let's get over here. Then we'll crouch and grab this. Okay, cool. We got a crate over this way too. All right, any of these dudes fishing? Don't see that. Okay, so we're gonna have to take on all of them. There's probably gonna be at least three. Oh, they've already seen me. another guy, but I don't know exactly where he is. Oh, there he is. Alright, so that takes care of three of them. There might be another dude inside the... Uh, there probably is actually another guy inside the, the thing. That's probably all of the dudes that are outside. Oh, good. We got some eggs. Bacon and eggs, baby. All right, so let's be careful. I'm pretty sure their claymore is still right there. Because I haven't blown it up. And as long as you don't blow it up, then um, it'll stay there, right? All right. We'll 
will take their their ash. Yeah, see, it's just right there. Um, we probably better not try and grab that fiber. That's probably not a good idea. All right, let's put this down here. Oh shit, that hurt us a little bit. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna bang on the door and then I'll bring you guys back uh, right before we're ready to break in. All right, here we go. That uh, took more shots than it probably should have, but we got the job done. Okay, well, let's make sure there's nobody upstairs. Nobody upstairs. All right. Oh, nice. Look at that. We got some plates off of the dudes. <clears throat> okay, so we got 500 and some odd power and about 94 of that. Uh, let's get the fat loots first. So there we go. Pretty decent stuff. We got, oh, nice. We got three ingots. That's beautiful. Excuse me. Okay, let's take all of that. Um, three ingots and a plate. Always a good thing. Um, what do they got going on in here? Some Sounds like something's burning, but I don't see anything burning. Unless it's... I don't know. Do they have another fireplace here? Oh, nice. We got some glass and some potassium. That's good. Nothing in there. All right, so this is what I wanted to look at. So to make diving gear... <clears throat> Um, we would need 800 power and 120 mass to make that. And then five padded cloth. Um, these two things aren't too bad, but the, the padded cloth, I think I have like two padded cloth, but I got plenty of cotton, so that wouldn't be so bad. Uh, we could make the tanks here too. All right, so 800 and 120. Um... Here, let's turn that on. So we could get this up to 800 for sure. And to get the mass up to 120, we'd have to turn this on. So let's turn it on and let's give this a little bit of fuel and see if we can get this up to 120. Then we're going to go back and get the stuff for the diving tank and come back and see if we can actually make it. That, you know, because if I can do that here and then we just raid them periodically, which we kind of do anyways, I can make the tanks and everything here and then I don't have to build the thing myself. That's the idea anyway. Okay, so 115, 16, 17, 18, two more to go, and then we'll turn this off. There we go. Okay, so that's at 120. Oh, here, we can actually just look right here. Okay, so we got enough mass to make that. Now we need their power to build back up to... Uh, Whatever it is, we're going to overdrive this. And let's try and get it back up to 800. Okay, so we're going to go back to our base. And we're going to um, grab the stuff that we need. Now, let me look at this again. I'm not worried. I mean, we need to do the tank, too, of course. Uh, so we need zinc and cordage for that. But this is the thing I really want to make first. So three rope two plates and five padded cloth okay let's go let's go make that happen we have the whole rest of today to use their base of course they'll repop tonight at midnight but uh, yeah it's it's at least noon so we should be able to pull this off I think all right so let's uh, see we needed three ropes so let's make that first so we'll grab some sinew and uh, make three rope. Okay, that's done. And then we needed, and we already have two padded cloth. We need th three more. So that's going to require feathers, cotton, and leather. Cotton, leather, and feathers. And let's make three more of those. Okay. Uh, we needed zinc for the tank. So let's grab zinc and cordage, I believe it was. 
So let's grab cordage. Um, I mean, you know what? We're probably not going to be able to make that just because um, we're not. We probably won't have enough mass and stuff. But let's just bring some fuel with us too and see what we can get done. If we can make the diving um, apparatus and at least one tank by the end of the day, then, you know, we can actually at least go try it out. Now, I don't know how long the tanks last. Uh, I imagine we're going to need more than just one. But we can at least try it, you know, and see uh, how long it does last and do a little bit of diving. See if we can go get a bunch of clams. I'd like to get a ton of clams before the... Uh, you know, before everything freezes over. I got a wolf after me. <clears throat> Bugger off, wolf. <clears throat> I don't have time for this shit. He should leave us alone once we get up here. Alright, so... Um, there we go. Boom. We are using our neighbor's mass and electricity to make diving gear. Hopefully the diving gear is just a one-time thing. We only need one of those, and then, you know, we just put the tanks in it. Nice, look at that. <laughs> All right, now to make these, uh, we just need 80 power and 20 mass. So let's do the same thing. Let's throw some fuel in here um, and overdrive it, and then let's turn this on and overdrive it. And then um, wait for that to hit 20, and then we'll start crafting this. I'm, like I said, I'm curious to see how long one tank is going to last. Okay, so we dropped our power down, but we're gonna we're gonna keep it running until it gets up to 20. Okay, so let's turn this off, and then you're doing overdrive, right? Yeah, so let's let that keep going. Man, Bravo's really been uh, helping us out. <laughs> they really have, man. Letting us borrow their power and their mass and their, their crafting table for upgrades. Very kind of them, man. Very kind of them. Knock, knock, knock. No, don't do that. Alright, can we make the first one? Yes, we can. Okay, let's craft the first tank. Oh, look at that. It's done in a little thingamadoodle there. A little animation. Uh, wait a minute. Is it crafting? Oh, yeah, it is. Here's the progress bar here. I wish they had a mass recycler in here, then we could bring stuff in to recycle. There we go. All right, so let's let the power build back up. Um, and let this build back up. And while we're, while that's happening, let's take, let's go down to the lake and go for a little dive and just check this out. I've never done this before. And see if we can get ourselves some clams and gauge how long, you know, the tank will hold up. And then we'll come back towards the end of the day and hopefully be able to make at least one more tank. Maybe even two if everything builds all the way back up again. Okay. So, I guess we just do this, right? And then how do we load the tank? Um, <clears throat> requires oxygen tanks. Do they just have to be in our inventory? <coughs> or do we right click and drop? I don't know. Let's just go in the water and see what happens. Oh, oh shit. That doesn't last very long. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow, okay, those do not last very long at all, do they? Okay, well, let's um grab some clams. 
Okay, we'll have to keep an eye on the the tank there. I'm not going to go after the sandstone. I really just want clams for now. It's too bad we don't have like a... um. That's cool looking. Like some flippers or something that we can move faster in the water. I know there's caves down here too, but I don't know that we're ready to go into those yet. From what I understand, they're pretty dangerous. We will. It is definitely in the plans to, to do something with them at some point though. But I mean, just to be able to come down here and get all these clams is worth it for sure. We are deep, man. Deep down, baby. This is about as deep as it gets. All right, we should probably start thinking about surface in here. Looks like there's probably another clam there, but I'd rather not drown, you know? It's not my idea of a good time. One thing's for sure, man. These tanks do not last very long, do they? Holy crap. Okay, let's get back closer to shore. <clears throat> uh, maybe kind of go over this way a little bit and see if we can, <coughs> excuse me, dive down in the little bit shallower water and grab a couple more pearls if we can. So we want to stay on the surface. It is getting on in the day, so I don't want to stay out too much longer. Okay, there's a clam right up there. Um, it looks like there's one directly below us, but that's still pretty deep. I don't think we have enough O2 for that. We should be able to get this one easily, though. Okay, let's get this one. I guess the blue line is just the durability of the diving gear itself. Oh, grab it. Okay. All right, let's surface. Oh, no, I bet you the blue line is my own oxygen once the tank wears out. That's probably what that is. All right. Well, that was kind of fun. Something new. Um, Let's head back and see if we can make one more, at least one more tank. Maybe we could luck out and make two more. But we got to hurry because it is getting dark. Uh, or it's getting on in the day, rather. And, um, you know, we have to be out of there by dark. Grab that. Let's put this back on. But I, you know, at this point, I don't really see any reason for us to make our own diving station. We'll just use theirs. We'll come, come by here every, you know, three, four days or whatever. And, um, just... Raid them, get all their fat loots, and make diving tanks. We'll have, you know, more mass and power to do that uh, on subsequent raids just because, you know, the first time around we had to make the diving apparatus itself, which was a lot more expensive. I kind of wish those tanks lasted a little bit longer than they do, though, but... That is what it is. Let's wash our hands off and then we'll go back to their uh, base and make ourselves another tank or two. Okay, so we can make one more of those. Um, can we generate enough mass for a final one before, before it gets too late? I'm, <clears throat> I gave them a lot of my fuel to do this, but that's okay. It was worth it. Okay. 
Okay, so we just need this to get up to f uh, to 20. Oh, it already is. Okay, so let's make another one. Hmm, can we make a third one? I mean, we, we just have to be out of here by midnight. We don't even have to be out of here by, by dark, just by midnight. Whenever that actually is. <laughs> So yeah, I'll bet you we can make, we should be able to make another one. Absolutely should be able to make another one. Oh, excuse me. 18, 19, 20. Okay, let's craft another one. Look at this, man. No, those don't stack to me. <clears throat> okay. This is working out pretty damn good for us. Not for Bravo, but for us. Oh shit, why did I bring all of my cotton? That wasn't very smart. Better not die on the way home. That's all I got to say. It's a getting dark, man. Alright. Should we go for one more? Let's go for one more. Nineteen and twenty. We're just going to do one more. We better not push our luck. Yeah, we're not going to have enough power left uh, anyways. And the cool thing about all this is we're going to leave them with no mass and no power. <laughs> Suckers! All right. Goodbye, Bravo. <laughs> we completely drained them dry. And we made a total of five tanks and some scuba gear, all on their power and mass. Well, that's not entirely true because we had to use some of my biofuel to generate some of that power. But still, you know, uh, it was a good day. We totally exploited our enemy, and I'm feeling pretty damn good about it. Just, just going to throw that out there. All right, you guys. Well, that is it for this episode. <clears throat> so... Um, next episode, let's see, what, what time is it? It's November. Wow, it's November already. Damn. Um, you know, maybe we will actually try a cave out, you know, because the cave has the crystal in it. We need the crystal for some high-end stuff. Um, I'll think about that. I, I think, I don't know, I, I, I think I'd like to attack Charlie first before we dive. Or, I don't know, maybe we should dive first. I'll think about it, and I will definitely let you guys know in the next episodes guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you in the next one Bye bye